prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. O Most Holy Heart of Jesus, Fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessings on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. Good morning and welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We begin our celebration as we always do in the name of God, to His Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And so we gather as people of God at the altar of the Lord to give praise and thanksgiving to God and to make our celebration more meaningful and fitting, we first admit our shortcomings, our sinfulness, before a God who is truly forgiving, compassionate, and merciful. With true sorrow in our hearts, we all say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the passion of Christ, grant we pray through her intercession that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, and come at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame 
to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Jews pick up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The, G the Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You are a man. Are making, you a man are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I, I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, Believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel passage conveys the mounting tensions between Ju Jesus and the Jews as evidence in the attempt of stones to be hurled against him. They could not reconcile the assertion of Jesus that he is the Son of God and were stubborn in putting their faith in him. We can imagine the exasperation of Jesus as he feels helpless with the lack of faith and the unbelief of these Jews. And so Jesus makes one more attempt by saying that even if they did not believe in him because of his words, they should believe in him because of his works. Seeing is believing. What then were the reasons for these attitudes and dispositions? Stubbornness? How about the threat in view of the growing popularity of Jesus with this authoritative teaching and the wonderful and miraculous cures. The signs were plentiful that included the changing of water into wine at the wedding feast at Cana, the healing of the paralytic, 
the conversation of the Samaritan woman, and the raising of Lazarus. These were all manifestations of his divinity. They then, they then tried to arrest him, but Jesus deserted them with the gospel ending, saying, He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. Jesus must have been very much relieved and consoled with the opposite reaction of the ordinary people. Ironic, right? Sometimes the people whom we least expect will be the ones to show understanding. Their openness of mind and heart allows them to see the truth and thereby prevents prejudices and biases to unduly influence their understanding and acceptance of reality presented before them. They are unlike the religious leaders who may have become stubborn as they hang on to what have been transmitted to them and are unwilling to see other possibilities. Despite the opposition and reservations of those whom he was missioned to, Jesus remains steadfast in his beliefs and convictions. He fortunately gets consoled in that other people believed him. We see then contrasting responses to Jesus, particularly between the supposed leaders and the ordinary people. Whom do we identify? We all go through what Jesus experienced. There are instances and moments in our lives when our very identity and integrity are questioned. It can be such a harrowing experience that could make us doubt and simply give in. We know that we cannot please everybody. It can take its toll on us as we begin to doubt whether what we do is really right. Yet if there are those who believe in what we do, then we just have to continue to discern whether to continue or not. Jesus remains steadfast in his identity and mission, no matter what the threats that these brought about. We cannot simply be faint-hearted when we truly believe in the good things that we are able to fulfill even though this will be criticized by people who may also be well-meaning. What is consoling is that if we too meet such opposition, we are not the first ones to have encountered such difficulties. If we put our trust in Jesus, especially when we believe that this is the mission entrusted to us, God will give us the enlightenment and courage to persevere in such mission and stand for what we believe in. God will inspire us not to waver that will be accompanied by an indescribable peace that resolves our doubt. Yet, if we are ill-willed, then we can understand the knee-jerk reaction of Jeremiah in the first reading, who shows how human he is as he desires that his persecutors be punished by Yahweh. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. This attitude, however, negates the very mission of Jesus, whose goal is to forgive. We have hurts that drain us of energies that could be channeled to more constructive concerns. Lent is a time of letting go of these hurts and to forgive through the grace of God, so that true liberation can happen not only for us, but also for others. We can then celebrate Lent meaningfully as our efforts for reconciliation is something pleasing to God, whom we always desire to become as intimate as ever. As we draw close to Holy Week, may we draw May we withdraw with Jesus from the madding crowd to pray for courage and strength to face the struggles of the hour of salvation. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you alone are the Messiah, the Son of God. May we reject self-appointed messiahs, prophets, and teachers who claim to offer salvation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who do not confess you as Christ find the truth by walking before you with a sincere heart, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
May those who are persecuted on account of God's word find security and strength in the Lord and help from his faithful ones. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord comfort those who mourn, give strength to all who toil, and hear the cry of those in tribulation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who inflict violence for the sake of amassing riches and those who either perpetuate or participate in corruption fear God's judgment and allow their hearts to be touched by His grace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays, Martin Tan, Andres Joseph Tonko, Donna Son, Nice Buenaventura, Tim Gabuna, Annette Roldan, Richard Mercado, and Mitzi Tamayo. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the healing of Maria Alma Rivera, Anacleto Bad Badoy Jr., Sophie Tan, Rosie Mancao, Maria Consuelo Tria, Emily Cuaso, Concepcion Jimenez, and Joselina Benz Miller. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Christy Cordero, D. Barot Kinhal, Miguel Antonio Macuha, Lenny Barcelona, Paterno Taclob, Jordan De Jesus, Susana Salud, Mary Wen, and Melchor Go. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Cristilda Villapane, Moni Carlos, Badoe Family, Sam Rayala, Malu Tria, Manolet Cuenco, Socorro Sevilla, Nono and April Unso, for the wedding anniversaries of Serge and Mini Velez, and Maximilian and Angie Badoy, Andy and Mariles Barra, Justice Ben and Jel Kagiwa. We pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may be steadfast in following Jesus as he fixes his gaze to go to Jerusalem to accomplish his work of salvation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through the goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty 
since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, it entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us a beautiful prayer, and now we have the courage to all say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share this peace to one another. Peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And so, my beloved friends, behold, Jesus, our compassionate and forgiving Lord. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice you have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you and those whom you deeply love, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, the Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace and joy of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.